Welcome back to Von Blues Boxing, man. What's going on with everybody, man? So I wanted to make this video real quick to get my predictions for Jerron Boots Ennis versus Sergey Lipinets. Um, 147 pound division showdown. Um, we know about Sergey Lipinets, you know, um, former IBF 140 pound champion, only lost to Mikey Garcia, who was a problem at 140. Mikey Garcia was good excellent at 140 and 135 you know really made his mark there um so um we are in we got jerron boots in his talented 147 pound young super young star um prospect or title contender whatever you want to say 23 years old golden gloves champion united united i believe golden gloves are united states national champion 2014 2015 boots is five foot ten with a 74 inch reach big welterweight um sergey lipinets you know he's a veteran been around the sport for a long time um defeated um anthony peterson that was like one of his most notable wins you know um Olympians, this is coming off a draw against Custio Clayton in a fight that I knew I had a feeling that would be close, but um, he was supposed to fight Kuradad Tilo. Um, he was supposed to fight him, but uh, with the COVID restrictions and stuff of that nature, that fight didn't come off. And then Boots Ennis just finished, you know, he fought Chris Vanderhurden, which the fight ended in, um, what's it called? fight was stopped because of a headbutt you know Chris Van Herden had a terrible terrible cut on his head so that was totally understandable so both fighters are coming off you know maybe not the performances and the type of fights that they wanted but in this fight is an interesting fight because I have Sergey Lipinets in my top 10 welterweights in the world in, in my top 10 um, rankings in the welterweight division and you Jerron Boots Ennis is on the cusp of that you know so this is his big big step this is a big step up fight for him this is actually an excellent fight for him too you know to prove that he belongs with the top 147 pounders in the world so i was looking at this fight and i was looking at some of the keys that's going to come down to this fight for olympian that's of course is to get inside you know put pressure on boots make sure that boots is always fighting off his back foot you know, pushing boots, you know, making them uncomfortable, taking the height away from them, you know, um, you know, level changing, you know, slipping punches and stuff of that nature. You know, that's the key for Lippinets. Lippinets needs to push, get it inside. He needs to take that range away from boots. And, um, you know, that's going to be the key, you know, getting inside and just, you know, going after him, you know, taking that risk. He's going to have to take some punches to get inside. But, that's going to have to be the key for Olympian Nets in this fight is to take the range from him, you know, wear out boots, try to wear him out, you know, by going to the body, you know, I mean, cliche stuff that we say in boxing, but the key also for Olympian Nets in this fight, and I know people will be like, huh, I'm counter punching. He has to like, he has to look for counter punching opportunities, you know, maybe he can hit boots and, you know, stun him or buzz him or, you know, make him think twice. And I think that's one of the keys in this fight is for Olympian Nets to look for counter punching opportunities and also you know punches and bunches you know not just throwing one or two punches or trying to outbox boots because that's not going to happen he has to be throwing with volume in this fight it's going to have to be to keep pressure volume and you know taking that range from him and being able to counter punch that's going to be one of the big keys for sergey lippian that's in this fight and so in the keys for boots in in this fight is just to use his physical dimensions you know he's a big welterweight he's five foot ten he has a 74 inch reach he needs to use every single part of that you know fight from the outside and slowly gradually break down sergey lippinets you know boots has an excellent jab he has a good overhand right and a straight hand he can come forward and put pressure you know he's 26 and 0 with 24 knockouts so he has good punching power he can hurt you and his key is just keep this fight at range and frustrate Olympian Nets, you know, kind of similar to what Jamil Herring did to Carl Frampton. You know what I'm saying? That similar type of game plan Boots needs to implement in his fight against Sergey Olympian Nets. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's the younger fighter. He's the, you know, 
bigger, stronger, I think bigger fighter and stronger fighter in this fight. And um, I think the keys is just to use those physical dimensions, use his height, use his range, you know, use the footwork, the superior footwork, the movement, you know what I'm saying? Use that against Olympianets and gradually break this man down if he wants to get this win. So my prediction in this fight is a knife round stoppage for Jerron Boots Ennis. I think Boots will stop Limpy Nets in this fight. I think it's going to take some time. You know what I'm saying? I think he gradually needs to break down Limpy Nets, frustrate him. Kind of the same kind of game plan like I just repeated. Jamel Herring had for Carl Frampton. And um, I think that'll be the key. I think he will gradually break down Limpy Nets in this fight, frustrate him, you know, keep him at range, have him missing punches, have him overextending, you know, frustrate him throughout this fight. And I think he'll get the ninth round stoppage. So, um, yeah, that's my prediction. Boots in this ninth round TKO. And uh, yeah, and so we'll see what happens from this when Bo if Boots wins this fight. I mean, if he wins this fight, and um, we'll see. You know, he's on, he's on the PBC. They got uh, most of the well top welterweights over there, but we'll see if any of those top five guys, top six guys, want to tangle with this young man. But um, yeah, that's my prediction. Jerron Boots in this ninth round TKO. Von Blues Boxing. I'm out.